So the axe bat is a little bit different than your traditional knob. It's actually three-dimensional, and it fits into the palm of your hand a little bit differently. There's a really easy bone to break in your hand called a hamate bone. So this kind of takes off a little bit of the stress that the round knob would put on that, and it's ergonomically a little bit different than the, uh, the round one. So this machine right here doesn't actually cut this knob, so I have to trick it into thinking it's cutting a round knob bat. So instead of putting it on the arms like I usually do, I'm going to start to feed it, stop it, and hand load it. And the lead-in needs to be timed perfectly so it doesn't gouge into the already cut handle. So you'll see this first knife not going to make a whole lot of contact, and the second one's going to start right where that ended. And that's the... That's the transition right there. So this bat right here is for C.B. Zavala. Cool guys, the swing axe. Uh, George Springer, Mookie Betts, Jake Cronenworth, uh, Robert Castle. And he swings a 33 and a half, 32 full cup. Right now it's 32.7. So the full cup's going to take about half an ounce out. And then the top coat that we spray is going to add a half an ounce. So it's right where it needs to be. I'm going to spin it, make sure it's straight. Ink dot goes between 10 and 12 inches on a standard bat, but we have an inch and a half lead in here, so we do it around 13 inches on this to compensate for that. You see that that's straight. That's the grain that really matters for the ink dot test. This one you can see with, with the naked eye, it's called the radial grain. It kind of looks like railroad tracks. This is the tangential grain. This is one that MLB and Tico need to be certified. And we do that for all our pro bats, all of our website bats, all of our amateur bats, all of our bats. So that's the axe knob. Spring training keeps plugging right along. We're about a week and a half away from actual games to be played, so we'll see you then.